work practice controls. What are work practice controls? They are procedures which reduce the likelihood of exposure by altering the way in which a particular task is performed. A major factor which influences work practice controls are behavior changes to adapt to prescribed standard procedures. Who all are involved in work practice controls? The responsibilities lie with the technical supervisory team, the bench level technical team and the housekeeping staff. The technical supervisory team consists of the heads of the departments, specialists like the pathologist, microbiologist and biochemist and laboratory supervisors. It is their responsibility to enable a safety system in their working area. And to do so, they must understand and protocol every aspect of standard practices, train the bench level and housekeeping staff, monitor and evaluate, continuously communicate with upper management, ensure emergency response measures are in place, ensure immunization of all laboratory staff, ensure that all laboratory staff receive post-exposure profile access following an exposure. The bench level technical team include all the laboratory technicians who perform the tests hands-on. Their responsibilities include following standard operating procedures or SOPs, understanding the hazards, following safe protocols in every aspect of their work, understanding emergency protocols and operation of safety and emergency equipment, understanding emergency reporting procedures, informing appropriate person of any abnormal event or result, and training of new staff. And finally, the housekeeping staff. They must understand and comply with the institutional rules for environmental cleaning and decontamination and follow the biomedical waste management rules. As part of work practice controls, it is important to report all injuries or unusual incidents to the supervisor immediately. Reporting of incidents must be encouraged by investigating the incident or the accident and not the person involved. The root cause analysis of all unusual incidents must be done and corrective and preventive actions must be taken. Now there are multiple components to ensure safety in laboratory through work practice controls. Each of these will be taken as a separate session. They are biological safety, which includes following standard precautions, immunization, post exposure profile access, work practices to reduce aerosol production, the optimum use of biosafety cabinets, understanding healthcare associated infections and antimicrobial resistance, and biological risk assessment. The next is chemical safety, which includes knowing the different chemicals used in your laboratory, the labeling system followed, development of a safety data sheet library, restricting inventory, safe storage and disposal of chemicals, and strategies to mitigate chances of exposure to harmful chemicals. The next is fire safety, where one must know the different types of fires and the use of appropriate firefighting equipment, how to prevent fires, how to handle fire related emergencies and the laboratory evacuation protocols. Electrical safety, where one must understand the effects of electricity on the human body, the different electrical control mechanisms used in the laboratory. Glassware safety, includes safe handling of glassware under different conditions, cleaning of glassware, and cleanup and disposal of broken glassware. Equipment safety, to understand the inbuilt safety features, the hazards, and how to safely operate different equipment. Physical and compressed gas safety, to understand the mechanical hazards in your laboratory, like slips and falls due to wet flow, loose fittings, falling objects due to improper storage, temperature extremes and storage and transportation of compressed gases. And finally, pest control. An I don't care attitude by any of the laboratory staff can play havoc and put everyone in the laboratory at risk. It is important to adopt and be aware of all laboratory safety protocols. In addition to the technical responsibilities like performance of different tests, 
Safety is also a responsibility of the laboratory staff. Additionally, it is important to address safety as a team, as it involves all the staff working in a laboratory. Please note that it is a shared responsibility. Following work practice controls by all the staff contributes to safety in a laboratory. Thank you.